All right, we don't have to wait that long to see Brad and his three brilliant minutes and his big brain. Take it away, my friend. Chris, when I read this story last night and I started thinking it through, it was like, whoa. And then after I slept on it and woke up and started thinking about it again, it was like, whoa, okay? <laughs> so apparently you were tired last night. You had a lot more energy this morning. Yeah, a little bit. So it is about children reading, okay? Reading for pleasure early in childhood is linked to better cognitive performance and mental well-being in adolescence. This was a joint study from the UK and China, but they looked at data about US okay. adolescents, okay? It was the ABCD study, okay? <laughs> the Adolescent Brain and Cognitive Development Study. In the study, there were just over 10,000 adolescents, 52% of which spent between three to 10 years reading for pleasure, 48% had little experience of reading for pleasure or did not begin doing so until later in their childhood. So it wasn't split exactly 50-50, but it was pretty darn close, okay? So here's what they looked at. Clinical interviews, cognitive tests, mental and behavioral assessments done with parents and also with teachers, and brain scans, okay? Oh, and we'll okay. get to that in just a couple of minutes. So here's what they found, first of all. Early readers showed positive performance in adolescents on cognitive tests that measured such factors as verbal learning, memory, and speech development, and at school academic achievement. That in and of itself is important. Is enough. Right. <laughs> right. But take a look at number two. These children also had better mental well-being, showing fewer signs of stress and depression, as well as improved attention and fewer behavioral problems such as aggression and rule breaking. Interesting. Now we get to the brain scan. Brain scan showed that participants who had taken the reading for pleasure at an early age had moderately larger total brain areas and volumes, including in particular brain regions that play critical roles in cognitive functions, which may reflect back on why they performed better sure. on the cognitive scores yeah. earlier. Interesting. But that is remarkable. That's like working out your brain, right? Well, and again, yes, and that's the whole thing about reading, as the study's authors point out, where when you engage in a verbal conversation or if you're watching television, you're watching pictures and words or hearing words, it's processed very quickly. But when you read, you have to see symbols sure. that your brain interprets as words, that strings together as sentences, which creates a, a vi visual sure. picture in your that brain. Makes perfect sense. It's a lot more work for your yeah. brain. So think about that. Here's some other things, some additional discoveries, which you know I always like. <laughs> Children who began reading for pleasure earlier also tended to spend less screen time, okay? During the week and on weekends, and also they tended to sleep longer, which in and of itself is just an interesting <laughs> thing. But hey, the study's authors have some advice for parents. Do your best to awaken the joy of reading in children. Reading for pleasure should begin between the ages of two and nine, and the optimal amount of reading is about 12 hours per week. Anything more doesn't improve any greater, but that's sort of a guideline for right. you to help your child achieve some of these yeah. great things. If that doesn't convince you, I don't know right? what will. All right, yeah. Brad, thanks so much. Still to come.